time like that, we're back. I just got to reset my timer because there should be enough room on there that I can get the rest of this. <laughs> yeah, I really talk too much. But at any rate, um, and plus, I was talking about going, uh, throwing vegan meals in there. It, or vegetarian, not vegan. Vegetarian. Uh, because of the price of meat. That way I can... Um, cut costs down on the grocery cart, you know, a little bit. Um, so I'm trying, you know, because actually, though, the two of us live as separate. We're going to, what's we've combined is going to save money. But just to be healthier, thriftier, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, really? What are you doing back there? Are you trapped? Come on, this way. Come, mommy. Yeah, this way. You can't go up. You're going to have to come sideways. He fell behind the TV. They're playing. Never mind. They're playing. Okay. Because they can get out. Either side. All right. Uh, let's see. I lost my place. Okay. Cream cookie. A dollar for a pack. And just to kind of get in the season of, oh, I love fall. It's my favorite absolute favorite season of the year and uh, when I see these it kind of make me think of fall and Halloween and um, all that kind of fun stuff and oh okay well I thought these looked like they had orange cream in the middle of them but I must have uh, mistook the light and dark cookie so it's half vanilla each cookie is part vanilla <gasps> we almost had an avalanche and part chocolate, which is fine. And these are the ones they sell at Dollar Tree. I know the little Dutch made. I love them. Anyway, it's a full size pack for a dollar. Just like Dollar Tree. Um, 13 ounce and this by. Hmm. I don't know what's on here. And I don't have my good glasses on. So. Two seven of eighteen. So February of eighteen. So I might eventually get another pack. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if they still have them. Okay. Um, yeah, I told you. I went grocery shopping at Holler. Um. Okay. Uh, two Himalayan sea salts. They were $2 each because I had gotten one in a prior haul and then I decided I thought that was a good price so I wanted two more of the pink Himalayan because I that is one salt I buy all the time and this way I'll have two spare ones which I don't mind because this is uh, I use this this is our table salt. I don't buy the uh, other kind. The regular kind of salt. So um, I thought, well, that's not a bad price compared to what I would usually be paying for it. So I'm going to go ahead and get two more bottles while they've got them. And I'm happy that I did. These are the uh, 200 grams, nice size bottle. And I'm already working on one. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Arena. Naturals, I think is what it says. I'm not sure on that because that's very small print. I'll try and see if I can see a Best Buy. Oh, I may not be able to see that. Mm, I didn't think to put my glasses on neither. My better ones, I mean. 10. Hmm. Ten, eleven of. Jeez. I guess where it says 2015, which would make this expired. No, wrong date. Best Buy. Ten, fourteen of. Twenty. Ten, fourteen of twenty.
pretty sure. Don't mark my word on that one. I do believe it says a 20, though. So if that's the case, these are really fresh. I don't think I'll be able to see this one any better. This one says 23. Do they put their dates out that far? I don't know. I think they're very good, though. I'm not going to try and toss them in my box, though, because my box is kind of teetery. Um, it looks like a nice long date. If I get over to the other side here and eventually get my other glasses, I'll try and take a look at that and tell you in the next video. If I remember. Um, three count... I got three three counts of the seaweed snacks. They were a dollar a piece, and I absolutely adore seaweed snacks. Love them, love them, love them. So it was one pack of three, and I got. Well, there it is. I got. <laughs> I got three packs, and I will probably end up if they still have them get some more. But I won't be purchasing until next month. And I do love these. These are the, um, and this was a good price, uh, sea salt ones, seasoned seaweed snack, USDA organic, and February 26th of 18. And I am going to open up, unpack. Oh, don't lose my, you lost, did you lose my place? Oh, I tell you, they're partners in crime. I love these things. I usually get them from Trader Joe's. There's no way I can get anybody to take me to Trader Joe's. I was lucky to get someone to take me to the doctor yesterday. I'm going to leave this one out because I'm probably going to end up eating all of these at some point in time before I move. This is where I need that straight. I decided I'm going to try and use some of the exercise equipment at the apartment. Let's see how that works. In time. In time. I'm not going to push it off on me right at the bat. But in time, I am going to, because it's part of the amenities, it looks like uh, from the photos I can see online that it's a lovely area. For those of you who have never seen these, they're an extremely paper thin like wafer of seaweed that's just dehydrated somehow in season and mm, these are good but it's an acquired taste so not all will like that I love them I might have to get some more of those because I haven't had those for I used to buy them every month. I do my grocery shopping once a month, sometimes twice a month. It's been years. Not as long as the gummy bears by far. But it's been... It's been a couple years at least. On the seaweed um, snacks. And they're good for you. I mean... There's the Spartacus, my guys, come on. They're bad. They they won't quit. They're knocking everything down. Okay, let's go here. Um, soy. Oh, the soy sauce. It was $4. Are you saying hi, Goliath? Are you just snooping at what you think I need to share with you? Oh, this is a plastic container. Okay. We have a problem. Come on. Urgh. No. Mommy's got you. Yeah, I'm Mommy. And you don't need to jump up here. Squish, 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 squish. You stay down. You go. You stay down. Woo. This is a big bottle. And I'm debating about getting another one, but I want it. I want to open it. This is going to get opened. I want to open it and take a taste. Now, there. It, this has been... I've seen this hauled, and I've heard that this is very good. So I'm taking the words of some others that this is very good. 
Uh, but it's the Beery, Beery, I think is how it's pronounced. Teriyaki marinade and sauce. And this is a two pound, 10 ounce bottle. So it's very big and you can see, hopefully you can see the sesame seeds in there. Let me turn you guys a little bit. I mean, it's loaded with sesame seeds. Oh, I hope so. Because for $4, this is really a good deal because this Asian kind of products are usually pricey. And I realized that because I'm going to do a lot of Asian style vegetarian. And it's like for the sauces and, and, and that, it's like, whoa, okay. That will run your bill up. But once you got them in, they last for a while, you know. But yeah, I'm... Um, I think this is a very good purchase, and I uh, have faith that it's going to be as yummy as everybody says. And uh, if it's good, I'm going to get another bottle of that, because uh, you lost my place for sure that time. Uh, because I believe uh, that's a good deal. I think so. Okay. This might go into hey part three. It's because I have misbehaving. Oh, I got another part of this order too over there. It was something I got from that marketplace. Um, I'm not real sure unless it's something that I absolutely. Their shipping is not it is separate from Holler, and it's five bucks regardless of. What you get, it could be a $2.99 item, it's $5 for shipping, I noticed that. And if you get two of the exact items, it's still $5 each item. So that'd be like, if you get two, it's $10 in shipping. That's pretty dang expensive. <sighs> uh, so now when I go on the holler, there is a part up on the left of the screen that you can click holler only items. Because there, there are some items in there I've been looking at, but it's like... I, I'm not wealthy. <laughs> uh, I know there are a couple items I for sure want to get, but at some point in time, just because the shipping, the shipping is so expensive, the item, not so bad, you know, but the shipping, yeah, and especially if you're getting like two of the same product, identical, and they still want to charge you two shipping price, you know, $5 a piece, that's bullshit. I'm sorry, but it is. You know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And it could be something teeny tiny. It's like, mm -mm. a little bit too much out there for me. I did get my barbecue seasoning salt in finally for $2. Now I have them all. This is the uh, uh, chef's number one choice barbecue seasoning. It's 190 grams. And uh, same size as the Himalayan sea salt, and I had gotten that cherry wood. I do want to take a taste of this. I'm going to give you some of the stuff I'm going to be sampling. Some of it. Hmm. Now, I wanted to. Does it have... Oh, they always pull my... Because I can't see very well, so I think there's a protective film, and there's not. It's this. I'm opening this up because this is going to stay out. Nice aroma. Mmm, that's good. This is very good. And it's not too salty. Mmm, this is very good. Mm, I think this might be nice in some soup bases too. Because it's not overly, let me do this again. It's not overly barbecue-y. I mean, it would be good on barbecue. I'm tasting more of a vegetable, like celery, onion. Mm -hmm. It's more vegetable tasting than barbecue. I mean, there's a hint of barbecue to me. I mean, I don't know about the rest of that have gotten it, but to me, it's like, it's not as barbecue smoky like I would have thought it would have been. Um, 
the other one, the cherry wood, is much more like that type. This is more vegetable, so I could see me using this on barbecue, but also in soup bases, and that because of, to me, it has a lot of vegetable flavoring to it. So, yeah. Yeah, I actually might have to, um, I don't think I'm going to get another one of the cherry wood, although it is very delicious, but it's very salty. I might get another one of these, though, just because I can use it in soups, stews, on vegetables. Yeah, I might do that. If they still have it. That's that's nice. El Sombro salsa chips for a dollar. And this is a little smaller bag than the other bags, um, as you can see. You know, they're smaller, smaller bag, but that's okay. Three ounce, three ounce bag. Uh, and this is um, spicy sal salsa flavored tortilla rounds. And it's three ounce, and it's best buy is. what it says. I believe. Don't quote me. Yum. That should be good. Okay. Um, now. Island Snacks Mango. This was $2. And this sounded so good. They had another one in there, but it was a smaller amount. This is the value size mango con chili lemon. Chili mango. It's a four ounce bag. And. Hmm. January 10th of 18. This is very clear to read. And, um. Yeah, I would like to take a little snippet of this one because I got this for myself specifically. Because he's not big on dried fruit. And um, I love mango. I dearly love mango. So I want to try. So we're going to taste test this. I'm just going to get a little piece. Mmm, tears very nicely. Not a lot of sap. Sugary. This is yum. Mm. This is really good, guys. Real. Oh, it does have a little... Mm. A slight heat. Slight. Very spicy, very sweet. Oh, these are good. These are really yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like them. I like them a lot. Those are delicious. Okay. Those are a thumbs up. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm sorry, but I will be back.